If you have applied to vote by post in the next elections, here is what your ballot paper will look like. Inside the envelope, you'll find two further envelopes and your ballot paper, or sometimes several ballot papers if there is more than one election taking place at the same time. Before you do anything, check that the ballot pack is actually addressed to you. This is especially important if there is more than one person voting by post at your address. The reason it's important? Well, if you accidentally vote using someone else's pack and then sign it with your name, that vote will be discarded, as it could be viewed as evidence of potential fraud. Secondly, check that the number on the back of each ballot paper matches the number printed on the front of envelope A. This is another anti-fraud precaution. If you find the numbers don't match, contact Electoral Services immediately. You'll find their phone number on the envelope. OK. Now, open the flap on envelope A. On the underside, you'll find your postal voting statement, which you should now fill in. Take a black pen and write in your date of birth in the boxes provided. Then write your signature in the box below. If we need to, we can now check that this date and signature matches the one you've already given us, so we'll know if someone tries to vote fraudulently. Now, take your ballot paper and choose the candidate you wish to vote for, and carefully place a large cross in the box next to their name. Make sure your cross is nice and clear so there can be no mistaking who you want to vote for. And don't write anything else on the ballot paper, or it may be discarded as a spoilt paper at the count. In some elections, instead of just voting for a single candidate, you'll be asked to vote for a first and second choice candidate. In that case, simply put a cross against your favourite candidate in the first choice column, and then another cross against your second choice candidate in the second choice column. Again, make those crosses nice and clear. Now, fold your ballot papers and carefully place them inside envelope A. You'll notice that there's a coloured strip just above the opening. This is coated with glue. Simply moisten, fold the flap over and press down firmly to securely seal your ballot papers inside the envelope. Next, take the envelope and place it inside envelope B. You'll find a couple of reminders on the back of this envelope. So, once you're satisfied that you have done everything you need to, seal the envelope in the ordinary way and then post it to us as soon as possible.